Alright, welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 4, Dwarf Queen Series 2. Last episode we actually managed to get two Dvalas up in two separate different iron mines. I think what we were planning for last episode is we were going to have her sweet succulent port portness down here. Kind of move over towards the gem deposit and possibly colonize this other iron mine down here as well. Those extra emeralds would be amazing. We're also going to keep track of what's going on up over here. This mountainous area right here is really good. I like this place a lot. Seems really defendable. So we're going to have Sagir up here. We're going to have him scout. And yeah, this place is really, <laughs> really well built. built. <clears throat> really well molded by the gods of whatever. So check out Nana here. What can she do for us? Um, well, not a whole lot, but I think what we're looking for is we got some arbalists here, got some warriors. What are we missing up here? Uh, pretty much the same thing. So actually, can we, we can do that. So why don't we recruit here? Why don't we get some dwarf guards here to help protect those off? And here we got a bunch of workers to kind of hold the line. And we got some artists in the back and stuff. I think it'll be okay. What else are we missing here? You... What are you? You're a runesmith, aren't you? Yes, you are. And we were saving up our diamonds for you. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. Alright, so basically you just gotta wait for more iron at this point. We can't really do a whole lot without it. And it's winter. Winter is a lovely time of year. Sort of. Really don't have anything to move out that way, so I think. I think we'll just pass another turn right after we move this guy up here. Hey, an iron mine. I like those. Those are pretty great. So let's see how that battle went. I'm not sure what it was. Hey, it's the other dwarves. How's it going, guys? Alright, so we just had some troublemakers in the hood over here. What are we looking at here? Nine units? Just nine units? A council guard? Subdoors will receive magic armor and maybe even magic weapons. Huh. That must be a tier two. Yeah, that must be definitely a tier two. Um, spell majigger. But they don't have a lot going on for them right now, so we can actually take them out. So we're going to do that. Okay, that might have been a bad idea. But damn it, this is our iron mine. We're dwarves. We own this. And a huge cave. Oh, that they're right there. They're right there. I kind of want to make a, make a fortress. A dwarven fortress in the old ones. Or the... What are these guys called? The pale ones? Yeah, the pale ones ancient domain sounds great so actually considering that kind of want to move these guys back up there kind of kind of who do we have here we have counselor and we have our just a regular commander so we'll drop off all those guys and I think what we'll do is we'll bring up all these warriors instead I guess either way it doesn't really matter, so we'll just move through the mountains. It actually costs less to move through the mountains in winter than it does to move through the forests. Cool. Cool, cool. Right, right, because they, they have snow move, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, 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 okay. So it's essentially moving the same moving through the mountains through the forests as the dwarves. That's cool. You just have lots of workers here. In hindsight, maybe it was a bad idea, but I think we'll be okay. Because we do have iron. Have enough workers here to get guards? Uh, we definitely do. So we will do that. And you can use a power furnace armor. I assume this just gives you fire resistance. It's not actually all that useful to me right now, seeing as these guys don't have those things. I'd much rather wait and save up. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to buy diamonds. 
We need more diamonds. We want to level up our enchanter there, our ruin smith. Really, we could do with some more iron, but we'll have to wait. How do we do? Okay, so they completely mop the floor with us. That's to be expected. Oh, they actually did some magic there. Ruin smiths have dwarf magic. You would have thunk it. So we lost, but how do we do here? Not good enough, really. No. Don't have enough for those crosswomen either. Just kind of bad, but I guess we'll have to deal with it. These guys aren't too scary right now, and somebody took a farm record village. So we'll move up here and here. That seems okay. So you have magic. You've been holding out on me. What kind of magic do you own? Flame burst and confusion. Pretty good. I like it. It's only dwarf magic level one, right? Because you're not upgraded yet. You need to move down somewhere. But where is that somewhere? Oh, if, oh right. Never mind. I was gonna say I forgot to move the guy up here, but that's who just died. So not important. So we'll get a commander down here. I think what we'll do is we'll start outfitting him with some dwarves soon enough. Little dwarves of his own. We do have a nice force here. Not sure if I really want to move them out. Maybe if these guys do something stupid we'll go after them. But getting control of those two villages back would be really great. These are mostly just workers here, too. Okay. It will have to wait. They seem to have done something stupid, so... Why don't we teach them why being stupid is bad? Or we could teach ourselves why being stupid is bad, but let's do it anyways. We need... Oh, we cannot do it. We're out of guys. What we have here, is that enough? Bring down a horde of those things. And you know what? We don't have enough arbalists, so I'm going to say no. So let's get arbalists over here. Not a whole lot. Maybe they'll kind of squeeze through or something. Maybe we'll get enough doors on the next turn to get some arbalists. Not really sure. We are kind of resource locked right now. So let's skip. There goes the dwarves. The other dwarves. We don't really talk about them much. Giant ants still being a nuisance. They don't scare me too much. Too, too much. One, two, three. Thing is, they'd be split up, and I don't really want to split them up, so. Why don't we recruit? Back up here, we'll get our lists. That would leave them exposed. Hmm. Do you want to leave them exposed? The answer is not really. Trouble all these guys. One, two. Yeah, we can't really see them. Where were they? They were down here or something. They came from here, here, and down there. I don't really like them being behind us, though. That seems bad to me. There they are. Well, we're not too far away. We can get back if things go wrong. One, two, yep. I think we'll be okay for right now. But watch me eat my own words. That is not a big force to fight with. Fusion, Flame Burst, and what is Eruption? Seems pretty good to me. Winter Ward, Cold Resistance, not useful. Go for Eruption. And let's see what happens. Alright, we won. The Dwarves didn't go after our Coal Mine, which was surprising to me. All 
Alright, going good so far. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh, those... Those arbalists just tearing them apart. Oh, we lost one guy right at the end. Dwarf guards are super good, as it turns out. So, we will slink back to our... Or, I mean, return proudly back to the dwarven mines. Still taking forever to get on that. I'm almost half tempted just to take all of these guys and just kind of Zerg rush the iron mine down there. I feel like it'd be a waste of time. Uh, power. Yes, because we need another 20 emeralds to do that. How are we looking there? Mm, not quite. Taking that tower bridge would be nice. So we can move through there and take it over that way. Why are you still a young Dabala? You're just taking your time. It's resource locking me here. So that is a lot of our lists. I like to see that. So actually instead, why don't we do... Here, why don't we get dwarves here? I think that is actually pretty good for defending, so we're okay for there right now. I don't think they would ever dream of attacking. Down here, you don't have much to go with, so we'll start spending our iron over here. And we'll start pumping up some dwarves, and maybe we'll just send them down instead to go over there. Which means over here, we might want to bring up more dwarf workers up there. All these ants were here. So let's do that. How are you guys for fighting? You're okay. How many of you will die fighting two giant ants? Hopefully not many, but we're gonna get rid of them anyways. Alright, that concludes that. And we'll see where these dwarves come about. They're really close. Seems like a bad mistake to me. We'll lose a couple here, but that's okay. Not bad. 19 dwarf workers? Sure. I will accept that. And in fact... Oh, you can't quite move. Damn it. They move to there, they can move on to there. Let's just see what they do for right now. Recruit here. Extra dwarves. Right, we don't even have a gate on here, I totally forgot. Oh, that could be a bit of a problem. Come on with the diamonds already, I need them real super bad. Finally getting a lot of rubies though. Alright, so that was the High Priestess. I don't like the High Priestess being here because that means she's probably going to be eating my Market Village. Which is just super rude and I don't actually know what they've got going on there. So we'll get more dwarves here. I'm also very tempted to... get some swordsmen as well. Yeah, let's get some swordsmen. Where do we need swordsmen? Not here. We need them down here. Oh, crap, red iron. Shit. <laughs> um, do we want to get archers instead then? Yeah, sure, let's get archers. We might as well be have the money for it because we have some range or some good frontline units so not too worried there I wonder if that means that they've conquered the bridge it might have all right there's a bakamono they're gonna head off that way spearmen not totally useful but not completely useless either. This castle I wish really wasn't in the way. A 
Do we want more arbalists? How many arbalists do we have here? We could do with a little bit more. Do we want more? Yeah, I think we want more warriors down here. Or just regular dwarves. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me head up here, see what's going on. Yeah, he she totally ate my village. Couldn't have ate that one instead, just had to eat the one that had the trading capabilities. Six oh And that's my counselor. I didn't want to move my counselor, what am I doing? Well we lost a counselor. And a lot of doors, actually. That's real bad. That's super bad. Maybe we can get a little bit lucky. Okay. Uh, nope. Still bad things happening. And murders and all other sorts of fun things. Um. Huh. And you're ethereal. Detanu. The Malikum defy, defied kings of the underworld, surround themselves with dead Raphite heroes. These heroes are known as the Didanim and the Assembly of Daitan. When a Malik joins a banquet for the dead, he will bring with him his Daitanu heroes. God damn it. <laughs> the priestess of Baal can summon the Daitanum and coerce them to serve the living instead of their dead kings. I tell them are huge ethereal apparitions armed with weaponry enchanted at the dawn of time. They are formidable warriors and dealt with magical powers. Great. Great, 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 great. Absolutely fantastic. Sword of the Damned and Ring of Protection. Gee, aren't you just swanky? So we can't maneuver around them to go hide here. Which is bad. So instead, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouse. In the mouse, yeah. In the mouth. We're gonna bring him back down here. And I think we're just gonna hold out for right now. See what happens over here. Maybe we'll get another arbalist to dissuade them from attacking. If you guys move, you can move. So we'll move you up. Get a couple more workers over there. How are you doing? Hmm. They're just gonna eat all these villages, and you know what? I think I'm okay with that. We don't really use them anyway, so... Prevents other people from getting a lot of gold, and eventually they will run out of units to use easily anyways. So then, do we want to defend up here? Or do we want to defend down here? This at least has a gate. What's the range on these guys? 16 and a siege. So even all the way back here, still pretty useful. So I kinda wanna get them here as well. At least get a couple down there. So we'll get a ballista. Why not? And maybe see if we can get some more mercenaries real soon. Oops, I think maybe I forgot to move those guys down there. Did we forget to move them? Possibly, but I'll never know. They might be coming through this forest, but I'm not sure. I don't really think so. I think maybe the answer here is just more arbalists. All of the Arbalists. We need to do tons and tons of damage to them, so... I guess having a really good volley of Arbalists would be... basically how we deal with the Giants. Because these guys aren't going to stand up that well, really. So maybe we should go with Dwarf Warriors as well, just for the bit of extra damage they can tank out. Turtling like a boss. Oh, they went for the castle. That's cute. 
Did you know I can siege your castle with my ballistas? Actually, you know what? Split your units. That would be just grand. You're also weakened slightly. Drill tome. Looking at that, it doesn't seem that bad. So I think maybe we could probably outrange them anyways, so. Recruits. Nope. Nothing special just yet. We can't get another ballista here. In fact, we're actually not that well defended up here. Why don't we get more arbalists? Could always use more arbalists. In fact, I kind of wish they were moved up a little bit further, but oh well. Gonna have to deal with what we got for right now. Yeah, just eat all the villages, be my guest. 20 Pikineers. How much does that cost? 250, holy crap. Could we get another blister? Totally get another ballista. I feel quite tempted. It's quite risky, because they might have had a hidden unit there, but we got it back. Maybe that'll harass them a little bit, so they waste some churns while we wait. And actually, can't get anything there. Let's just get more arbalists. Arbalists for days. And maybe we'll roll up some dwarf guards and the like. Very close. Yep. I was right. Fancy that. Hmm hmm hmm. I think you know what the answer is. More arbalists. <laughs> we will get some warriors going on in there. I, I think that might be a good idea. Uh, you don't want to control anybody here. You're much too valuable to me right now. Okay, so two more turns, and we will, in fact, have a very good enchanter. Ruinsmith, Yada Balada. Alright, now they're starting to move back here. That worries me just just a little bit. So we'll move you out. Move you back. This actually has sight radius. It's pretty good. We don't have anybody to put there right now. Maybe they will come back for it. We harass them just enough. Uh, oh, sweet. We can get a gate now. Good. That's exactly what we want. No, we can't. It requires 30. Uh, okay. Come back. Come back. You know you want to. Or fight with the other dwarves. That's fine. Uh, hey, she is coming back. Sweet. <laughs> Maybe we can wipe them out once and for all just right here. So, lucky you, my friend. Holy crap. Now, here's where the fun really begins. Weapons. I like this a lot. So, can you do armor and weapons? Is that a thing? I really hope that's a thing. Okay, so, Rhyme Band Brand Weapons, Rhyme Brand, Flame Brand Weapons, and Earth Brand Weapons, and corresponding... Ballista. So where do the counselor or counselor guards come from? You have special powers, you have spells, yes, soldiers of steel. Armor plus two is fantastic actually. Fire resistance isn't that useful, so we'll do that instead. Man, maybe we should start getting out some of these guys to buff our units. So we have Bakamoto, we have Pale Ones, and I think the Troll King is stomping around somewhere, so I think maybe it's in our best interest to get 
fire weapons. By flame branding a weapon, it becomes magic and will strike foes with fire. Dwarves with furnace armor as well are as our with furnace armor as well as arbalist can can be targeted by this ritual. Okay, so they need furnace armor to begin with, but we can get fire arbalists. By rambling weapon becomes magic, will strike foes with cold. And earth brand. Stun the foes at strike should they survive. Doors with the armored fallen as well as armorless can be targeted with this ritual. I'm liking this. Ryan Brand Ballista will freeze a large area around the place where it hit, potentially killing many foes with a single giant arrow. That sounds amazing. Burn. Okay. And we'll stun. Kind of like burning. You guys aren't really resistant to anything, are you? Burning or freezing? It's a good question. It's a real good question. A very good question. Um, why don't we do this? Okay, we did it. Arbalists are now on fire. <laughs> Flame branded arbalist. It's amazing. Extra effect once target is hit, damage 1 to 5 points of fire. Not bad. Not bad at all, because that can potentially cause burning as well, which will do continued damage. Sounds pretty good to me. Why don't we get a Rhyme Ballista? <laughs> what the giant? <laughs> it is great. Oh, 1 to 7 colds of damage. Armor gating, area effect burst 3. Only usable once every two rounds. Scatter. The attack will often hit an adjacent square instead of exactly where it was aimed. Okay, fair enough. Once every four rounds in a just a battlefield scenario. Okay, that works for me. Uh, powers that be. No, no, uh, Gudrun. What would it cost? Another, yeah, another 50 to get another runesmith. Mm hmm. Oh, if we got another one, we could have one do armor, then we could have one do weapons. I don't know if we'll ever have that much gem income, but it's it's, it's, a, it's a consideration, something to consider. So they're here. We want more what? I think we wanted warriors, really, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Cause these guys are gonna do lots of damage, so they're pretty much gonna one-hit our guys anyway, so... Unless we just want to spam them, but no, we need warriors up in the front, so... Yeah, okay. Uh, dwarf warriors. Sounds good to me. You, my friend, you will control everyone on the front field. The spearmen and the herbalists. And why don't you even take those guys? We are in a bad position, kind of, sort of. More Arbalists? Or... I think it might be a bit of good, a good idea to just upgrade our Arbalists with fire. And... Basically... Just do that. We'll get another few... Warriors, I guess. Maybe we should get some guards. Can we afford guards? No, we won't be able to afford guards. So yeah, we'll enchant our Arbalists, and then we'll get some more guards, and we'll see how that works out for us. They do have... These guys only have broadswords. The guys in the back here, these are going to be a little bit of a pain because they have javelins. But maybe we'll be okay. Possibly. You down here. I still don't want you to leave, so let's head to our next turn. They're gonna move off. Alright, fair enough. Can't get Pikineers. Might be a good idea to get Pikineers, just so we have them. Could move them into the castle if we really wanted. It's only 10. 
Now maybe we'll recruit them here instead. Yeah, recruit them here. You can transfer and have them in your army. Got those. Uh, Harun Smith. We use the powers of Flame Brand Arbalist. Oh, please. Let me take a look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. All of those flaming arbalists. Please let it be true. What can we move up there? Because that will be seriously underdefended, but uh, I think maybe we'll be okay. So I'll move down here. Not actually sure if we'll be able to catch up with them. Oh, they're there. If they swing around, I'll be really upset. Extremely upset. But we'll have to see how it goes. Maybe they'll be tempted in attacking us. Maybe not. We have the unit of... The numbers, the numbers advantage. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, upgrade that ballista. But such is life. Alright, let's see if they go for us. Oh, they actually attacked us, and they won! No way. How did they win? Alright, burning is good. I like to see burning. So much damage. I'm not sure if that ballista actually did anything useful. Yeah, those chaps are going to in the back. Good, but we didn't have enough. We needed more ballistas or uh, herbalists. I knew it. Ballistas are pretty good, though. We did some damage at least. Yeah, I guess we just didn't have enough units in the front to deal with all these guys. I don't know how that's. They only get one attack, right? Yeah, it seems so. I guess I still managed to whittle us down pretty good. Oh, that blows. But the good thing is we managed to take out at least a fair chunk of their big, big units. And wow, there's so many demons. <laughs> Imps. Okay, great. That's awesome. And I guess part of the good thing too is we did screw up uh, at least a couple of them. Oh, that blows. So what are you looking at down here in terms of units? 50 units, we only killed 20 of them. Wow. <laughs> we suck. Who'd have thought that? Alright, so... Danger, danger, danger. Take these guys, take all these guys. That's not enough. We want to avoid them, but we want to get up there and help our guys out. Why are you moving so slow? Oh, the humans. You fools. And these guys are really undefended. <laughs> Alright. I'm sweating. Okay. Good, uh, regular Davala. That's what I like to see. Soldiers of Steel would be nice. Fire Wand, or Fire Ward, not useful. What are they doing? Move up here and move here. Now we have this. Wow, that's... <laughs> we need a double stacked wall for the mines, really. Yeah, there's no way they would ever think about attacking us through that. That leaves her down here really undefended as well. We got here. We need arbalists here. 
and we could put fire on them. And I think we're gonna do that. Because fire weapon's pretty good. Actually, come to think of it, the uh, the stun ones actually would be really good. More than anything. Not sure how stun actually works, if it's based on strength or what, but... Oh well. We have nobody down there. We only have... we have a bunch of guys down there. Counselor, my friend, I think it might be a good idea for you to... I think it's time for you to go home. Go back to her sweet succulent printers. Barkness and... Just uh, think about expanding the colony. Can't afford a ballista. Would like to afford a ballista, but unfortunately can't. So let's see what these buttholes do. Alright, they're gonna go lick their wounds. Fair enough. Bunch of swordsmen. They'd be nice to have in the castle. Nothing we can do about that for right now. Very exposed. It makes me concerned. You, my friend, come up here and drop off all these workers. You can leave the humans too. You can leave the humans. <laughs> Autumn is here. Alright. So I guess they do have control of the bridge, or the river ends just right here. Could be either or. Hopefully there's no creepy collies in the desert. Take all those guys back, sure, why not? Should I transfer, why don't we leave one guy here? Just so we can get that uh, bonus there. And just so they're not basically spying on us, we'll get rid of that as well, because screw them. I don't know why they're not taking that coal mine. We don't have anybody sitting there, do we? No, we don't. Kind of curious. Guys can move through here. That's so useful being able to move through the mountains like that. All right, not bad, not bad. These guys up here will be okay. And you? Ah, perfect. 34, not bad. Actually, how do you feel about taking the swordsman with you? You don't mind, right? No? Alright, cool. Take the swordsman with you. When you go. And in fact... Seeing as they're gonna take you... Well, nah. We'll get some dwarf warriors up here. We'll make sure you're well taken care of. Because it is time to expand. Alright, so they finally went for it. Actually, should have checked out their force, but... Wow, lots of stuff happened. 64 units. They seem to have acquired some more buttholes. Of course they have. Alright, so actually that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you in next time. So, in the meantime, take care. And we'll just move him on here. Just so he's there. Just so he's there. Alright, I'll see you later.